Hey guys, welcome back to the channel where I take you on an exciting journey through graphic design and illustration. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a one part graphic of the three. So here is actually some more of my work. If you'd like to see more, uh, you can check it out at jpngraphics.com. So here we go, we're going to get started here. I first started out with a square canvas because I was using this for Instagram. This could be any orientation that you like it. You could make a nice poster. But I started off with creating a black background. And what you'll see here is I'm working with the original document. And I'm pulling in a new one to create for you guys. So what we have here is a cool um, kind of foil texture that we worked with. And I just found that online. I think I found it. Uh, I forgot the site, but you can find it online for free. I can put the link in the description description below and um, we're just making a kind of a cool kind of cover album artwork today and so I found a quote that I really liked from Walt Disney and we just you'll see this a lot on the internet kind of like repeated um, typography pretty trendy um, so that's what we have here it's gray we also have a nice um, kind of world or globe icon you'll also see that in kind of some fashion or trendy uh, graphics any kind of album artwork and so we're just gonna play around with that a little bit here and see how we can get it um, I think we're gonna play with more of a symmetrical layout so more centered and balanced here so we have some black black typography and also some silver typography that's gonna look kind of give it some contrast and bring some attention to that part of the graphic also we're gonna bring in kind of a nice circle I've used this in some other posters and you, you'll also see it in a lot of other um, kinds of uh, album so Right now we just have that plain background and that foil color on top of that. And then we have the typography repeated on top of that. And so we're just kind of playing around right now with that circle and we also have some type at the bottom. You're kind of getting the what I'm trying to just what I'm trying to show here is almost like a Polaroid type uh, graphic and so I just found this on Google. You can just go ahead and find it. Uh, I can also throw a link in there too, but you notice it has a background. We want to remove that background with the quick selection tool. So just quick select that and go click down there on the mask and we're going to want to go down to invert. I don't know if you saw that. There it is. Invert. So we have that square masking taken off. I'm going to change the screen to or the blend mode to luminosity to kind of give it a more of a black frame and it fits better on the canvas. So now we have that. It looks pretty cool. It has that Polaroid feel. You know, we're really starting to bring this together. And so I think what it's needing is a nice texture to kind of give it that old look. But this is really bright. It's a colorful graphic. You could use this for anything. You could use it for advertising. You could use this for um, any kind of poster or social graphic or postcard. Um, right now, you know, we're just exercising some different layouts and typography. And uh, I think it's coming together pretty well. And actually what I did with that globe, I don't know if you noticed it, but I went and I made used a liquify on it you can't see what I'm doing now but it's a liquify tool you just go up to I think it's uh, image or effect and liquify you can just pull the graphic that's in there the globe it's pretty easy not really hard kind of gives it a smushed feel kind of uh, kind of goes with that background right color and we're just kind of positioning that nice overlay that you can find this also on Google I can also 
show you the link here in the description. It's free. Kind of gives it a worn look. The kind of speckles uh, that you see there that gives it that texture. Kind of gives it some character here. Um, makes it look a little bit worn and used. Uh, almost like an old boy. So I went ahead and threw that up there. Kind of position that circle a little bit down. Um, it's really starting to come together and I think we're just about done. So if you like this, like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you'd like to see more. Um, if there's anything else uh, you'd like to see that I can help you guys out with or you have any questions, leave it down in the comments below. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye for now.